Hi and welcome to See Sparkles Corner. Today, the star of our show is the spring form pan set. Okay, I want to talk to you about this. This is a pan where a lot of people has written to me and asked me about it and are kind of afraid to use. Okay, let's talk about it first. First of all, you don't make regular cakes in this. The batter is too thin. This is for making ice cream cakes, cheesecakes and pudding cakes. So today we're going to make like a small pudding cake and I'm going to show you how to prep a springboard cake. So let's first open it up. Mine says it's a set of three pieces. I'm guessing that means it's three separate little springboard pans in here. We're going to use the smallest. It's an 8 inch one, a 9 inch one and a 10 inch diameter. So the beauty of it is you can make the 10 inch one, then the 8 inch one, I mean, I mean 9 inch one, then the 8 inch one, and make it like a little bit of a tower if you're having a party for whatever kind of cake you'd like that you're using it for in here. Okay, so after you take off the plastic, you've got to take this off. Okay. And you can make a mousse in this too, and we're making a mousse in this. Okay, the inside cake tin is upside down. Uh, use the care instructions, those of you wondering, before first use and after each use. Wash pans thoroughly with mild dishwashing detergent and warm water. Do not use oven cleaners to clean bakeware. Avoid soaking pans overnight. Dry promptly and thoroughly after washing, although bakeware is dishwasher safe hand washing is recommended do not use dishwasher detergent tablets these concentrated cleansers will damage the first use uh, only nylon wooden or rubber utensils metal tools and knives can easily damage the pan surface steel right. wool or other abrasive scrubbers may scratch the surface That's how we've got that. always towel dry your pan after washing do not use your bakeware on a cooking range dang that's this isn't for cooking. This is for non-bake. This is non-stick, okay? <clears throat> now the inside one... That's sensitive. The inside one is upside down, like this. So, okay, keep track of... Remember to keep track of this. I want you to understand this and see this. See, this is the bottom. The bottom extrudes out. The inside <coughs> is flat with bumps on the bottom, okay? <coughs> Let's cover it again. That's the 8-inch. And between the two of them, there's an adhesive that was sticking the pans together. Pull it off like this and stick it on your paper, okay? Again, remember, this the, your bottom from your top. That's important. See, and if you wanted to make a cake, do you see like this? It could go a towel smaller like this. But we're not doing that because we're not having a party right now. And store them, when you store them, store them the way you got them, like this to protect your pans, okay? This is for proper storage, all right? So we're not going to use these two, so we're just going to set that aside. We're going to go with the small 9-inch one, the demonstration of it. Okay, let's show about removing of these two. Okay, to remove a springboard pan, you gently lift it up like this and pull out this. But when you rem after you've done your cake, your pie or cake, and it's set, you remove the clamp and lift up like this, or you can remove the clamp and lift lift it out like this. Either. Uh, as we remove the ring, it looks easier to me. <laughs> okay, but an ice cream bowl. Damage them before I even use them. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse these off and clean them. We don't have a dishwasher, so we don't have that problem. Sorry about not having the dishes done up, people, but we've had a really busy day today. Since we got up, I made breakfast, and these are just the breakfast dishes. All right, now, wash. I have to go get a towel because we just did laundry. Mm -hmm. The cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, I've washed and wiped the pans, okay? All right. See, so 
removing, closing the pan goes like this, and opening it goes like this, okay? So take your pan, take your pan, put it on the bottom like this, then close it up. Like this, see? All right, but if you do this on this pan, your liquids, if you try to use a regular cake, the liquids is gonna fall out because you don't have an enclosed seam. But there's a way around that. There is a way around it, and I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, this, remember, this is for cheesecake and other, this is for cheesecake, ice cream cake, and pudding cake. So you're gonna need aluminum foil. Okay, now, remember, this is the top and this is the bottom. Keep that in mind. Put the bottom on the top. Get your aluminum foil. Pull out some aluminum foil, okay? We're gonna help get here the seal. Wrap your pan up in the aluminum foil. <coughs> Okay, push it down. This is gonna give an added ceiling to it. Now, even it up and close your pan, okay? Do you see that? Nope, nope. It's not all the way down on the bottom yet. Try to make sure you get it on the bottom. This is a little bit of a trick to line it up. There. Okay. Now you see. It's lined up. See? You've got a good even seal. Now we're ready to go. Now you don't... I highly recommend you doing that because if you look on the bottom, see? That kind of seals it really good. See that? Film me. Film me. All right, people, I'm gonna show you a little trick. You got the groove, you put it. That's where you want your bottom you Put it in the groove, and then you use your finger, you slowly, slowly spring it shut. So you wanna use the groove as a guide. Nope. <laughs> There you go. Perfect. There. Now it's in there. Okay, you saw how David did it that trick. Yeah, use the use the groove as a guide. Spring form pans are not to be afraid, but what we're gonna do when we're done making the recipe, okay? I'm gonna pull off some of this so it sets straighter. Okay. I recommend using scissors next time. All right, now when you go to make this, well, we're, we're, we're gonna make a mousse pie, and we're doing the smallest, a mousse cake, okay? When you're doing this, <coughs> what you're gonna be doing is removing it and lifting it out. So, whatever you're doing, remember, this is not a baking item. You don't put this in the oven, absolutely not. This is for refrigeration only. So now you know, spray form <coughs> pans are not to be feared. We're done with the aluminum foil, so we're gonna put them back away. Okay, so we're gonna set our springboard pan aside and we're gonna make the bottom of our cake and Oreo Goldens this time. This time we're going to be making a very rich mousse cake. Very rich. And, and you're gonna need a ball and <laughs> crusher. So, let's get on my gloves. Cause I'm gonna handle food. And we're making a no-bake item because we are using a springboard pan. And we're gonna have fun together. Oh, except I forgot I've gotta melt some butter. Parquet, butter parquet. I do that as a joke sometimes. 
so let's get a pan and turn on the burner on to high and let's almost forgot we're gonna melt some butter and the butter says butter on it but if you want to use margarine feel free to use margarine so let's get a couple of tablespoons of butter Melted. See, isn't that pan kind of cute, people? See, mm. when you got a pan that's smaller than your burner, and you got a handle that can melt like this can, just go to the edge of your burner, whether it's gas or electric, so that way just that heats up. They don't make a mini burner for teeny weeny little pans like that. You don't need a big pan for melting butter. Okay, so we're going to take eight Oreos. Two, four, six, eight. Now, if you want a triple chocolate and just want to do chocolate, 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 I don't have a problem with that. Use whatever. I just want to, I'm just trying to get a contrast of colors. So let's crush our cookies. Kids can do this too for fun. They can go do 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 Get rid of the aggravation, the energy kids have. Kids have a lot of energy. So it's gonna be crushed down, it's gonna crumble. And don't separate the whites. You wanna leave the whites in there. Takes a few minutes. But I'll show you how crumbly we want it. Use whatever house tool you want. This is a meat tenderizer that I'm using to crush cookies. Now, if you're, you're going to use the bigger pan and want to do multiple layers, then probably have to crush the entire box. have crushed enough so I'm kind of making this recipe as I go along. Okay, now this is how you want it to be crumbled like this. As tiny as possible. Alright. Our little butter is melted. So now pour your entire amount of butter on it. Set that aside, not over the hot pan. Oh yeah, we're going to need more. That's not enough. Oh, crush. I'm going to have to get another container for crushing. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's add another five. Two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Until you get the right consistency. Like I said, I was making it up as I go along, so... The more crushing you do, the better. You'll see what consistency I'm looking for. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I think we need a couple more. No matter how much you crush in here, remember we're making a, we're making the bottom layer what is like crushed crust like. Do, 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 do. So just add less butter for more and whatnot. Okay, there we go. This is the consistency we're looking for. Now we're gonna take our little our little springboard pan. And we're gonna get our bottom layer on here. Okay. Now, I might have to make more if I'm not making enough because we're just kind of layering the bottom. Okay. We're 
We're putting the bottom layer on here. Turn your pan when you need to. So we're trying to cover basically the entire bottom with our cookie, crumbled cookies and butter. This is going to be our bottom layer. All right, this is our bottom layer. See? Now we're done with that. Now it's time to utilize one of our favorite kitchen tools, the electric mixer. Now we we want we're kind of making a cake out of it, so we kind of want this very very rich. So the next level is what's everybody's favorite? Ta-da! Chocolate pudding! Yay! Chocolate. Okay. I've got the can opener. Boing. <laughs> So chocolate pudding one box takes two cups of milk and because we're making it we want it to be thicker and richer because we're making a kind of like a pie a pudding pie cake whatever you want to call it. Chocolate mousse cake. So I'm using evaporated milk because this is the richest milk there is. Don't eat them all up David. Hey, it's been a long time since I've had Oreos. <laughs> Since we bought them last. Well. All right, put two cups, 12 ounces, which is two cups. Yeah, I should have really measured it. Okay, I'm gonna measure it for fun. I think one can is two cups. I'm gonna find out. Nope, it's not. One and a half. All right, so I'm opening a second can. I'll have to get a third can though for the next layer. That's okay, we got plenty. One thing I buy is evaporated milk by the case. Well, actually I buy 10, 10 or 12 every time I go to the store. Because it's evaporated milk. Good for sauces. It's great for sauces and is a very, in my opinion, an underrated milk. I don't see a lot of people purchasing it while I'm going, so here's two cups of evaporated milk. But I purchase it quite frequently. Okay, now we're getting, um, Opening the chocolate mouth. And what I do is I check it. If it's hard, it needs a bit of a rolling pin. That's one. Hmm. I'm gonna show you all a few little few little tricks. Okay? Alright, you got you got hard, you got hard one of these, okay? That happens sometimes. I don't sometimes so. It's just it's not it's you not can, old. It just you happens because you can work it like this. So I'll chip it up. Alternatively, set it down. Another alternative is you go over your bowls to your cabinet. You check your cabinet. You take and then you can crumble it into a bowl. It needs to be a crumble before I guess. Cook. And then you just kind of like work it, work it, work it, work it while it comes out. You don't want to tear it open all the way because you want to have like a hair spout a bit. There's just some ways you can handle this. Now, another option, another option, tear it open all the way, you get the brick out, and then you get a spoon, and then you just like chip it and chip it and then stir it. Back to you. Yeah, we need to have it crumbled. David did an excellent job helping us. Sometimes, every once in a while, I don't know why, when we get the pudding mix from the milk from the store, it's, it's just every once in a while you get one that's like a brick. And that's because the powder settles and, collect and sticks to each other due to the moisture in the air. That's all. So you just gotta kind of deal with it. It's still good because, well, you know, you've seen that from my videos. Nothing stays around my house very long. It just settles in the package, that's all. It's just something that happens every once in a while when you purchase them. All right, we're gonna lock it up. So we've got the milk. And I thought I had plugged in my electric mixer and she's, it might help if I had plugged it in. 
put on your splatter shield. to make in pudding, because I forgot this is in a mousse, is to use your electric mixer, which is what I should have done. Same basic results. But so. we're getting this. I don't want to splatter, so we're mixing it up. And then I'm going to rinse the container before I use the next layer. Okay, let's see if it's mixed enough. <clears throat> oh, it's not thickening up. I don't know why. It's supposed to thicken up. I guess it didn't mix it enough. Okay, now when you're making this, make sure you use the pie recipe and not the pudding. So, you know, look at the package recipe, the one you're doing, and go for a pie. I decided to go with a double dose, so I'm using two cans of evaporated milk, which is 24 ounces, and two packages of chocolate pudding mix. Because for a pie, pie, because we're kind of making like a cake, we want a thicker, a larger amount of chocolate. <clears throat> so we decided to double it. Up. That sounds and much better. If you better. want to use a um, mousse, use a mousse. It would actually be better than a pudding. But well, we're going through a phase right now where we're using stuff we have. <laughs> and if this don't thicken up, we're just going to. Um, if you don't thicken up, I'll have to do it. <laughs> like we'll refrigerate really, it for a really while before sucker. the next recipe. Oh, that's much better. That's the difference between the pie and the pudding. <laughs> okay, that's much better. I, I have to rinse these out before we do the next layer. So I'm just temporarily setting it in the sink. Now, I want you to see, this is much better. It's thicker. So we're gonna put two boxes on this. And that's what you made just the amount you need too. Yeah, you need two boxes, one is not enough because this is such a big recipe. And we're gonna have to have two boxes of the white mousse. Okay, now we're leveling it off like this. Okay, I've gotta wash these containers, so I'm gonna immediately put this in the refrigerator. For now, put it in the refrigerator, because I only have one electric mixer, and I'll be right back with you after I've cleaned all this and got set up for the next level. Okay, now everything is cleaned <laughs> up. And so we're ready for the next one. So I have three cups of evaporated milk and I'm pouring it in my mixer. And we're going with three boxes of white chocolate, white supreme mix. Because what I'm attempting to do is get a contrast of colors. 
Okay, let's just hopefully, hopefully this is, um, we don't want to get the chocolate mixed up with it. Okay, we should have gotten another bowl, but it's okay. Let's, before I put it in there, I want to make sure there's no, it's not lumpy. I just always check. So we're doing this for three boxes because with this it's um okay this is fine <coughs> okay there's no lumps it's one box of white chocolate supreme mix to one cup of evaporated milk remember we're going for the richness so we're checking this. I'm checking each one before I put it in there just to make sure there's no lumps. With white chocolate doesn't seem to do it like dark chocolate does, but I check it anyway. It just gives me a feeling of security. Out of three boxes, as you can see, we've had really no lumps. Okay, so we've got the three boxes on here. Mm -mm -mm. And it might help to put on that, and I need to go rinse this off. We miss this. It splashes on us. I didn't even think of it. I didn't even think of it either. Again, I apologize for not. I just soaked everything in hot soapy water and. didn't really get to the dishes today because we haven't had time. We had to go out and do laundry and all that. Just had a busy day today, but grateful to having a busy day. All right, we've got locked up and now we're gonna gradually turn it up. Now look at that, that's beautiful. See that? That is so thick already. Mm. All right, that's just beautiful. It looks good enough where you could just take a spoon and eat it. <laughs> mm. It looks yummy to the tummy. I wanna go wash my hands a bit because I'm gonna clean my hands. All right, let's get out our spring cake and finish this up. All right, I've left this in the refrigerator. Let's move these and put this in the recycling and this in the recycling out of the way. All right, now we're about to do the last level. Now you use the plastic spoon. And what I always do is I give it a good stir. 
Look how thick and rich that is. Look at that. Now let's pour this right on top. Whew. Let's pour this right on top. <laughs> so my initials a bit under. All right. Now we're going to decorate the top, and then what we've got to do after to recap that is two chocolate puddings and I think three mousses from a right. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take some Oreo cookies and decorate it. All right, the Oreo cookies don't want to stand up. Just lay them on top. Let's make a little smile. Okay, there we go. There's a little smile. And I'm going to take some silver cupcake gems. And there's a nose. And I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top. Just to make it look pretty. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it sit to hard <coughs> for two hours. And then we're going to be back. And then we'll be able to enjoy eating it. That needs to harden for two hours. Well, welcome back. It's been way over two hours. And let's see if it worked. Okay, when you remove a spring, spring cake, you take your hand. See, there's a latch right here. You take your hand on the latch. And it's supposed to... Well, okay, let's find out how you do it. It worked! Slide it off. Yeah, you slide it off, and there it is. There's the cheesecake. Okay, so let's... Let's take a taste test. Can you... Woohoo! I... Woohoo! My first one. First one. Okay. Oreo cookie. Okay, let's slice it down. Oh, uh, and tip and hint. Serve it on the bottom of the pan. Do not change it from that plate to another one. You just leave it as a serving plate. And it, oh, it has to be refrigerated. It must be refrigerated. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just bear with me. I don't... There we go. Did you put mousse on the bottom? Mm-hmm. No, it's chocolate pudding. Oh. Very thick chocolate pudding. And there it is. Doesn't seem like a very nice base. Well, there and there it is. So you can see on the inside, and there it is. And let me give it a bit of a try. The chocolate, and there it is. And the silver stuff is sprinkles. That's on the top. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And there you have it. It's absolutely delicious. Give it a try. Hope you like it. And as always, the fun never ends. And now for storing it. I don't want to leave it like this in my refrigerator. So I'm going to take my cake tin and I'm going to leave it on the serving platter and store it. Oh store it in there. And so there we have it. Feel free to share, feel free to subscribe, and as always the fun never ends. Hugs and kisses from my family to yours and be careful when you're lifting it out for the aluminum foil so just go a little bit, you know, well when you're pulling it out. Just kind of use your pie server I suggest. So anyway, feel free to share, feel free to subscribe, and as always, the fun never ends. We love you. Hugs and kisses from all of us to you. Bye, everybody. Enjoy.